today on Earth Focus, Namibia goes smart grid solar. Correspondent Jeff Barbie reports. Coming up on Earth Focus. Old electrical technology has hampered the development of renewable energy in many African countries. But Namibia has a plan to wean itself off of expensive electricity imports from nearby South Africa. It has renovated the national grid to help make people's homes into power production systems. If we are now talking of the smart grid uh, technologies, the potentials mostly in Namibia is solar, solar energy, wind energy, and biomass energy. The government wants to have a significant amount of the country's energy coming from renewables by 2020. Our target for renewable energy capacity is 10 percent, yeah. But getting small producers into production has only recently become possible. It's the first country in Africa to create both new laws and an electrical grid like this one in the capital, Windhoek. It can take power from many different sources anywhere in the system. Architect Wim de Wolf installed a solar array to reduce his own electricity costs and also to show his clients what is possible with the new technology. It is a very smart investment because the, the payback of this investment would be between six and eight years. But also, if um, smaller consumers could be helping out the, the system by putting that in the grid, we would not have to import that much energy from South Africa because we could be a lot more self-sufficient. De Wolf hooks his solar array directly into Windhoek's smart grid, allowing him to feed it when his home produces excess energy and to draw from it when solar power runs short. This reduces the cost of the system because he doesn't need expensive batteries. If we would not be able to use a grid as it is now, then we would have to have a total separate uh, battery system. Now everything that you produce too much goes into the grid. Namibia's state-controlled power company, Nampower, has also installed a solar array to run their headquarters in downtown Windhoek. And other large projects are already powering remote desert communities in the Namib desert. The government has a 20-year, three-part plan to expand this technology. Number one is uh, individuals to take up loans, because you know that these products are very expensive. It's a five-year program and then you have to deposit 5%. The interest rate is also 5%. Component two, there's the government responsibility of uh, connecting all the far remote schools, uh, clinics, to renewable energy technologies. And then the last one is to establish what we call uh, energy shops. The shops will sell renewable energy systems and sign up customers to the government loan program. It will take years to reach their goals, but officials believe the system should already be a model for other countries in Africa. On a continent beset by chronic energy shortages, this kind of green solution could change the lives of millions. In Windhoek, Namibia, this is Jeffrey Barbie. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.